double check to be sure there is no blade in the blade holder. Locate the spring-loaded pin on the right-hand side of the stage. Using the bottom of a brush to press the spring-loaded pin and rotate the lever towards you at the same time. This will allow the lever to fully rotate and the pin on the lever rotates past the pin that is being depressed. Squeeze the top and bottom pressure plates in order to pull out the lever completely. Lift the top pressure plate off and place carefully to the side in a safe location. Damaging this plate will affect your cutting ability. Using the low profile blade adapter that came with the cryostat, align the pin on the bottom of the adapter with a hole on the blade holder. Replace the top pressure plate by aligning the pegs and holes on the bottom of the pressure plate. Put the lever back into the right side of the pressure plates. Add pressure on the top and bottom of the plates by squeezing them together. This will allow the lever to slide more easily into the hole. Be sure that the lever pin is behind the spring-loaded pin on the blade holder. Using the end of a brush, again depress the spring-loaded pin to allow the pin on the lever to rotate past the spring-loaded pin. Your cryostat can now accept low-profile blades. Double-check that there is no blade in the blade holder. Depress the spring-loaded pin on the right side of the stage using a brush. Rotate the lever's pin past the depressed spring-loaded pin. Squeeze the top and bottom pressure plates in order to pull out the lever completely. Lift the top pressure plate off and place carefully to the side in a safe location. Damaging this plate will affect your cutting ability. Using your fingers on both sides of the LP blade adapter, lift it straight up and remove the LP blade adapter from the base. Carefully replace the stage on top of the other pressure plate, aligning the pegs with the holes. Replace the lever into the hole on the right side of the stage while gently squeezing the two pressure plates of the blade holder together. This will allow the lever to move smoothly back into position. Make sure that the pin on the lever is past the spring-loaded pin on the stage. Using the end of a brush, depress the spring-loaded pin on the stage. Rotate the lever and pin past the spring-loaded pin and the cryostat is now ready to accept high-profile blades.